Hey, Sean, talk about medicinal herbs for the fall season, please. Okay. This is comfrey. Comfrey is a cell proliferant. A what? <laughs> proliferant, a cell proliferant. It means that it, uh, it encourages cell growth. Oh, okay. Um, great. It's great for putting on cuts, wounds. We've put it on... Uh, uh, poison ivy and stuff like that, and it's uh, taking care of it in no, tr no trouble, no time. One of the things you have to be careful, though, is that you're picking comfrey. Mm -hmm. Be sure, because the leaves, when there's no flowers, looks a lot like foxglove. Foxglove is digitalis, and it will stop your heart. Oh, okay. Now this, uh, the best time to pick it if you don't, if you're not sure, wait until it blooms because the flowers are different. Okay. Um, the FDA has put a uh, ban on using this internally. They're saying it causes uh, liver damage, uh, even though nobody other than the FDA has been able to verify that okay. and look at it. Uh, one of the things I asked the FDA, um, Tylenol causes liver damage and has actually killed some people. Mm -hmm. And they haven't banned it yet, but they've banned Comfrey. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, that's the FDA for you. And this is great for burns. It's great for um, wounds, healing wounds, things like that. Uh, people that have had uh, like a finger cut off and stuff like that, they've had been able to reattach it with using this. Oh, fantastic. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. And... Uh, Taking internally is great for cells and things like that, mm -hmm. uh, internal organs, things like that. Okay. <laughs> this I just found out is edible. This is called a Chinese lantern. It's related to the tomato. Oh, yeah, boy, it looks very much like a tomato. It's got a tart taste to it. Do you want to mm -hmm. try one? Sure. Mmm, very good. Yeah, we've been, we've, Chris has been growing these things for years and never knew that they were edible. Oh, wow. <laughs> and they do, they taste very much like a mm -hmm. tomato. Let's see. Of course, we have the dill and the asparagus. This is the marshmallow plant. Marshmallow, okay. Mm -hmm. And tell me again what marshmallow is good for? Oh, it's been used to heal um, gangrene, um, also for bruises, things like that. It's also great for um, healing internal organs and things like that also. Making, okay. And they also use it, mix this with astrologus, astragalus, one to one by weight. And it's great taking in a tea uh, four or five times a day when you have allergy problems. Now, um, the way you told me to use it for my finger that got caught in the car door yesterday. Right, it helps with bruises and, okay. and wounds and things can you, like that. Can you tell me about how to do that again? Okay, you want to make a fomentation, which you boil water, you pour the water onto the plant, let it sit for 15 or 20 minutes, dip a cotton or wool or something like that cloth and put it over the wound or the sore or the bruise wrap it and then wrap it with some plastic wrap over that and uh, that should do the trick okay and how long should i um how long should i keep that in place i keep it all as long as you can and do okay. that you know as many times a day as you can until you're healed okay great thank you Okay, this also has a flower on it that looks a little bit like a morning glory flower mm -hmm. when it's in bloom. Now one of the one of the names for this is called a cheese plant. And that is because uh, I kind of tore it. You see these little 
little seed packets here look like a cheese round. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and they call this a cheese plant sometimes because of that. <laughs> hmm. And okay. I'm uh, probably pretty soon I'm going to strip the leaves off of this and dry them and use them. This is this is a yellow dock. Okay. It's and really, that's used for? That's used for internal organs, a blood cleaner, uh, rheumatism, things like that. Okay. I uh, use the root. Okay. Uh, it has a, the root's actually yellow. Other than this, it has a red leaf on it in the spring, and then the flowers are red, and the seed packets are sort of a dark red. They're sort of turning brown now. Mm -hmm. But the actual root is yellow. Okay. And that's what they use. And it's also used for in Chinese cooking and Japanese cooking and things like that. Okay. It's very edible. This is a wild lettuce. <coughs> wild lettuce contains a, a certain amount of opium. Oh, really? And it's great for sleep. Okay. I mean, it's not enough. It's nowhere near what the opium poppy has, but it does have opium in it. So it's not addictive, I would imagine. Well, I don't think. I don't know. I haven't heard of anybody that's been addicted to it. But they do give this to people that do have that problem when they're trying to get them off of their addiction. And okay. it's also great for giving people with insomnia mm -hmm. and the leaves. Probably not now, but when the leaves are young and tender, they're edible. Okay. And uh, so you could actually um, make a salad. Oh yeah. Yeah. See the it looks a lot like uh, what arugula, mm -hmm. I guess. Mm-hmm. Yeah. How about this plant here? That's uh, wild lettuce also. Wild lettuce also. Yeah. Okay. Okay. See, it has uh, yellow flowers on it, and then it, it must be related to the dandelion because it turns into this fuzzy white seed packet afterwards. Okay. Fantastic. Well, yeah, dandelion sort of looks like arugula also. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, well... But it's... right now it's springtime, and all these plants are coming out, and uh, time to pick them, and put up your winter storehouse. Yes, yes, indeed. indeed. Should we talk about uh, the raspberries again? Oh, yeah. I have to uh, get some raspberry leaf tea, actually, for yeah, allergies. I'll pick, you up some, I'll pick you some before we leave, before you leave. The wonderful raspberry, high okay. in vitamin C. <laughs> Uh, great for uh, women to be using this when they're going through pregnancy. It also helps bring in their milk and also helps fortify their milk for breastfeeding the babies. It's okay. great for um, allergies, flu, uh, colds. I caught a cold last winter and it, uh, 24 hours the cold was gone by drinking this tea three times a day. The same thing happened to me last year too. Mm -hmm. Same thing with Chris, had the same thing. Right now, she we're having a bit problem with her allergies. And uh, even though she is better, she's not over them yet, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know? Mm -hmm. And that's one of the parts of the tea that she's having. She's drinking. Fantastic. Okay, I want to show you the burdock up here. Okay. And, uh, how much time do we have left? Uh, we have uh, about a minute or two left. About a minute. Oh, the mullen. <laughs> I already stripped the leaves off this mullen plant. I don't know if we want to look at it or not. It's kind of late in the season for it. Now this is burdock? No, this is mullen. Mullen. Yes. Okay. Which is a wonderful plant. <laughs> Fantastic. What what specifically does this one do? Oh, it's great for arthritis and rheumatism, and uh, it's also the leaves and stuff. 
I make a um, mix them with uh, olive oil and uh, it's great for uh, breaking up uh, chest congestion things like that oh Rubbing fantastic on your back and chest and things like that the flowers are gone of course it has little yellow flowers I also mix those with the olive oil and that and that's great for mix that with some garlic and use it for earaches and things like that fantastic uh, Native Americans adopted and loved this plant the leaves they used to use for padding in their moccasins oh really feel how soft and uh... oh geez yes <laughs> it is it feels like velvet almost and uh, is it came from Europe and what the Europeans used to do is they would dip this part in uh, tar or oil mm -hmm. and use it for torches. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I can see that. Yeah. Now, see, this is this plant is actually done now. It's gone through its two-year life cycle. It's yeah. a biennial plant. It's dead now, and it won't come back next year. Okay. Hopefully, we'll have some other ones that come back. Whenever it makes the flowers and seeds, mm -hmm. its life cycle is over. Okay. Well, we've hit our time limit. Okay. So thank you very much, and we will return for another update in a few months. Okay.